Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams. And over the last few weeks, there's been a big conversation whether or not the new coaching rules for the ATP and the WTA are actually fair. We've had some players like Taylor Fritz coming out saying that he hates the new rule. Of course, there's other players that have obviously liked the new rule because they were getting pinged for coaching violations. Well, let's break down the rules. What are the rules that we've had since Wimbledon and going into the US Open? What are the coaches allowed to say and do during matches? So these are the rules that have been changed as per the ATP website. They have said that off-court coaching will be trialed for the second half of the season, and it will permit coaching from designated coach seats during qualifying and main draw matches, basically where the players have their coaching staff. But to what extent can they talk? That has been the question. So off-court coaching will be permitted under the following conditions. Coaches must sit in the tournament's designated coach seats, meaning that they have to be in the coach's box. Coaching, verbal and non-verbal, is allowed only if it does not interrupt play or create any hindrance to the opponent. Verbal coaching is permitted only when the player is at the same end of the court. So at most tournaments, the coaches' boxes are spread out, one on one side, one on the other. So you can't have coaches yelling from one end of the court to their player down the other end. Non-verbal signals are permitted at any time. So that means if there's a secret hand sign language they have between them and their player, that is permitted. Verbal coaching may consist of a few words or short phrases. So no big conversations. Coaches may not speak to their player when the player leaves the court for any reason. So let's say there's a bathroom break or a medical timeout and the players are walking past their coaches. They are not allowed to go to the back and talk to their coaches while they are having that treatment or having the bathroom break. Penalties and fines will still apply for the abuse or misuse of the above coaching conditions. So there you have it. They are the coaching rules for the next, I guess, six months until the end of the season. And the US Open is going to have it. And on the ATP, the WTA have never really had a coaching problem. They used to actually permit coaches coming on court once every couple of sets or once every set, I think it was. But let me know down in the comments below, do you like that they're allowing coaching to some extent now?